We're at the K-State Beef Stalker Unit, and this morning we're going to talk about some work that we've been conducting over the last two years, focusing entirely on limit feeding of backgrounding calves. There's been a lot of concern in the industry about limit feeding higher energy content to these newly arrived calves. We looked at that and took this project on from a different perspective, looking at utilizing co-products such as corn gluten feed, that being sweet bran or wet distiller's grains, which comprise predominantly the diet. Now we push the energy content of the diet up to 60 NEG, mega cows of NEG per 100 pounds of feed. What we found uh, is a 27% improvement in feed efficiency relative to full fed control cattle. And th this is represented by the dramatic improvement in digestibility of the diet. As a consequence of, of lesser amounts of feed, uh, these animals are able to extract a greater amount of energy content from the diet. So we see a greater improvement. There's a huge variety of benefits from limit feeding. First of all, we feed once a day, not twice a day. We're able to provide the feed to the animals and, and typically they consume their rations in about a three hour period of time. And so the remainder of the day, uh, their, their bunks are clean. When it comes to pen cleaning time, we see a dramatic improvement in the amount of manure being removed from the pen. So from an environmental perspective, uh, we see dramatic improvements there. This time of the year and, and this particular set of environmental conditions in Kansas, where prairie hay is exceeding $120 a ton or so in price, we're only feeding 7.5% of prairie hay and 7.5% of alfalfa in this particular series of diets that we're testing. So we've dramatically removed the amount of fiber from the diets and getting by with the effective fiber from the co-products that are contained in, in, in the diet as well from the distiller's corn. We anticipate, uh, based upon our previous work, uh, a substantial uh, improvement in feed efficiency which translates into uh, potentially more dollars for the, for the producer.